Hello everyone, my name is Mayuresh Zoshi from Office365Notes.com. In today's video, we will see the new feature of Power Apps, which is named Formulas. If you are aware about the Excel's Name Manager functionality, we can easily put a name to certain Excel uh, cell and we can refer that cell by that name anywhere in that Excel for calculating different values. Similarly, now in Power Apps, we can define the named formulas and those formulas can be referred anywhere in the app. Before we start learning the named formulas, we should be aware about what is the difference between named formulas and variables. So the main difference between these two are variables need to be manually updated every time when we change something in the data source or when we perform any action. But the named formulas are the formulas which automatically gets updated when your dependencies get updated. So we will talk about these differences uh, in next few minutes. But before that, uh, to leverage this uh, named formulas feature, you have to first uh, make sure that you are running the latest version of your Power Apps. So at the time of recording this video, the latest version is 91.11. So make sure that you are using the latest version and then go to the upcoming feature and search for named formulas. Make sure that it is on and then you are good to go uh, to use the named formulas. So let's start learning the named formulas along with its advantages. So the first advantage is that the formulas values are always available. So basically it does not wait for your app.onStart to get executed or it do not have any time dependencies. It do not depends on any other functionality of your app except the dependencies that we have defined in the formulas. For example, uh, I will create I will define one formula in my app dot formula section. So this is the place which is a single source of the truth. So you cannot define your formulas anywhere else in your app. So just navigate to your app and search for the formula property. And here we can define the formulas. So if you see here, I have used two formulas. One is username and user info. And if you see that I have defined the user info formula with a function as user. And I'm using that user info in the username. So basically you can write the formula in any order. So if I cut this and paste it in the initial place, so you can use it like this or you can reverse the order as well. So the first thing is formulas do not depends on the order. So you can define the formulas in any order. Now we have these two formulas and if you see I'm I'm storing the user information in user info formula and I'm using that formula to again have an another value which is full name in username formula. So now I can use that label and I can say that uh, just show me the username. In this way, you can see that the formula will return the value. Now, the second advantage is that the formula's values are always up to date. So let's say there is a requirement where you want to find the latest uh, item ID that is present in the backend list and you don't need to manually update it every time. So in that case, named formula formulas can be useful so if you see here on app start formula section i have added one formula which is last item id i have one employee details list and i'm storing the last id uh, in that formula so if you see currently i'm having six records in my employee details list and i have added one label to show the uh, formula value which is last item id now i have i'm creating one um, item in a employee details list I'm, I have used a simple patch function. I'm passing. I'm creating a new uh, item. I have passed few um, values to the columns. Now, uh, as soon as you create the item, this value will automatically get updated. So, if you see, I have not written anything else apart from creating a new item. So, let me create a new item. And as soon as the items get created, you can see that the ID has been uh, updated. So if I again click on it and you can see that ID is updated. So uh, this is the advantage of named formulas. So it basically um, keeps the value always updated. Now the third advantage of named formulas is that 
its definition is immutable that means you cannot change the formula value anywhere else apart from the formulas section in the app so if you see if you go to the app and click on formulas here is the only place where you can define all your formulas so basically you cannot update any value in these formulas anywhere else in your app so it is a single source of truth and you cannot change it anywhere and this will help you to accidentally update the values of your uh, formulas so if you remember when we used to have variables um, obviously variables has its own advantages but uh, wherever it is possible you should go with the formulas because if you have used for, uh, variables and in some places you might update the values where it is not needed so in such cases uh, the accidental update of variables can be avoided with the help of formulas and it's not like the formulas values are static as soon as the data source values changes it will uh, update its value so it's not like it's static and it can definitely change whenever the dependencies get updated which we have already seen in previous example now the next advantage of named formulas are that the calculation of these formulas can be deferred for example if you know if we write some code on on start of the app that code will always execute whether those values are being used in the app or not unlike in named formulas the formulas will only get executed only when they are referred in in the app or if that screen is visible so for example if you have written 10 formulas and only 5 formulas are used in screen 1 and 5 formulas are used in screen 2 so unless you navigate to screen 2 those 5 formulas will not get executed and thus your app performance will improve drastically now as we know that named formulas will improve your performance of your power apps we can now easily convert the on start properties or whatever functions or variables we have written in on start function we can convert them into formulas for example here on my on start function i am I have defined one variable as var theme color where I'm defined its property as green color and I'm using that color to my button field property. Now to improve the app performance if I go to my on start property and instead of defining it here I can go and go to formulas and paste it here and instead of setting that as a variable I will make it as var theme color is equal to green and you can see that we have to put the semicolon and you can see that our uh, controls are working as it is so basically whatever formulas or variables you have written in on start it is very easy to convert them into formulas and this will definitely improve your app performance so this was all about named formulas i hope you found this video informative if so please like to this video and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will get all the updates related to microsoft 365 platform and finally thanks for watching have a nice day